so friends welcome again so, sorry for uploading a video so late uh, due to some personal reasons i could not upload a video for uh, quite some time and my website is also under preparation hopefully by 26th of january i should be able to launch this wherein you can see live videos of finical wherein how you have to make any ft rtgs transactions through a menu option hpo rdm right so prdm is payment order maintenance right so this is how we neft rtg i think you know what is the difference is rtgs is real time gross settlement neft is net electronic fund transfer so it's a netting of half an hour now both of these from 1st of december 202020 have been made 24 into 7 there is no time limit for these two transactions like uh, imps right so there is a difference between all the three neft rtgs and imps right so neft in rtgs is managed by rbi through its server at mumbai whereas imps is managed by npci national payment corporation of india and in uh, uh, collaboration with the uh, ten other member banks and iba right so indian bank association is also main organization is npci national payment corporation so you will just discuss various steps and uh, my when my website is launched very soon by 26th of january i'm so there were some personal reasons i could not upload videos also the process had slightly delayed in my website you will have all the material as a banker that you require in your journey in your career right like sales selling techniques various terminologies what is liability banking what is asset banking what is cross selling third party products various other lots of topics that i have uh, learned and uh, gained knowledge of about in my 38 years of career right so this is how we start into this right this is the menu command hpo rdm for making an neft in rtgs transactions so rtgs minimum amount is 2 lakhs and maximum can be anything neft minimum no amount maximum no amount only cycles are there half uh, half an hour cycles so netting of entries takes place real time is as soon as the entry is made in the system it starts moving to its destination bank and the account right so we type the hpo rdm is the menu option shortcut go to type on the right hand side of the screen you can must have worked or you go to work when you join the banking click on go this payment order maintenance criteria screen appears on your computer screen you get this here right so you type this hpo rdm here and select function we'll do add after that verification right so click on go again right so select a and customer transfer there are a lot of uh, uh, options available here it can be bank induced it can be customer induced so generally it is customer induced also banks also transfer funds from one bank to another so click on go here right so you have to fill all these uh, details fields very carefully right and when you will be getting live videos on your uh, computer screen i think it will be far more easier also so when you will be joining my website banktaxskills.com wherein you will have lot of various other modes available for all of you right so you can go ahead with that and it shall my website will hopefully should be launched by 26th of january 2021 i hope to launch it there and then right so let's go ahead so serial number 6 you have to type the debit account number from which this uh, transaction is being made who the uh, who is the person or the account holder who have made the request right so we have to enter his debit account number request execution date control x or we can put a date uh, ahead of today's date also maybe 3 days gap also cannot be given here so we i'll show you a live video again on my website how we uh, request an execution date also we can uh, suppose enter amount is debited today but entry will be may will be made day after tomorrow or tomorrow as per the request of the customer what is the amount to be remitted instrument type check number check instrument serial number check number date what is the date of the check so this has to be written here options in case customer has given a check optional or we can do it from the request letter also some banks have that they can uh, write the uh, details and give it in a letter also 
डेबिट एक्सिक्यूशन डेट कंट्रोल एक्स डेबिट वैल्यू डेट कंट्रोल एक्स ये टूडे डेट इट सेल्फ बाइट बाई डिफॉल्ट राइट सो अकाउंट विल बी डेबिटेड टूडे बाई डिफॉल्ट amount can be debited today and will be moved to the destination branch today itself if it is the date execution date is today there is option also available wherein he can defer a execution date to maybe next day or day after tomorrow right so credit execution date enter date control x credit value date at control x and you have to slide the sidebar here right so you have to be very very careful here when you do this so all these fields are very very important right so this you can see here this is customer account details this is the amount right this is the account number this is check number this is date of check here right and this is the amount 2 lakhs is given here right so this is execution date a lot of dates are there right so this all control x control x this is all control x right this all you have to do it so when you will be joining my website again i am repeating you will have a clear vision clear view how we have to do RTGS and NEFT in the branches. So address type, please now be very very careful while uh, discussing these things. BIC is like your IFSC code, bank identification identifier code, right? IFSC code, Indian Financial System code. So what is the BIC destination, right? So you have to customer must have given or we can find out from the system also to select and enter IFSC code as a destination bank. to which bank which branch this account belongs to where this amount is to be remitted so we choose address type as bic we can choose bank code from the searcher branch code from the searcher this is of the destination bank where the amount is being remitted account with institutions enter details as per 14 to 17 right the account with institution what is this again bic let's say sbi lay sdfc right mode of payment rtgs nft as required credit account id whatever the credit account number has been given by the applicant to our to us we will enter that of different bank in this account number will not be of our bank our corresponding bank branch code in case if it is required so this is generally happens in case of this option is also used for uh, making payments uh, beyond um, our national boundaries also so there and we require correspondent bank wherein we have an arrangement with any correspondent bank also so here in indian scenario this will be blank here now charges option there will be beneficiary our or the destination account holder right so we will have to choose always charge option as our so who was so is the applicant he will bear the charges not the person or account uh, to the person whose this amount is being sent to charge code automatically it will be populated selectors as appropriate will be rtgs or nft as per charge code view we have to click on view charges there will be a rectangle here and small between of your screen you have to view charges if you want to waive very small nominal charges are there rbi is not charging anything it is only the banks which are charging these small amounts also right so here you can see address type bic bank identification code or ifsc code we call drop down here so there will be a customer address also or be a bic to so choose bic here right so all this bank code right you have to choose it from the searcher your friend in need is a friend in need right then bank code automatically punb right so this is for punjab national bank automatically branch code to which branch does it belong to this all be mentioned in ifsc code itself or bic code itself account with institution where that account is with which bank again bic here 024 here automatically this will populate here right now what you have to do is you have to mode of payment you have to go on searcher method of payment you have to type as rtgs in case of rtgs neft in case of neft right make this while you are working in the system make this system or manual but when you will be working in the live physical in your banks you have to make it as system only here when we train we do it manually because we don't have real uh, server rbi server to make this uh, practice session right so as soon as you will click on this fetch 
this you can see in between here there is a it's an feth fetch click on this here you will get these automatically populated here all these neft charges charges option i told you hour drop down we have to choose hour only right then view charges after fetch view charges a screen will appear on your this thing here half of it view whether the charges have been laid any service charges have been laid right so this is you can how you have to do it right so this is just a glimpse and you can view it again and again so you get these charges details here so if you want to 25 rupees it's very minimum minimal charges right service charges right service tax so you accept it submit right click on submit you get this you accept it yes charges are very nominal and system displays a result screen user to note down the payment order all right so you have to note this down and you also get utr number at the end right so unique trans uh, transaction reference number we call it utr customer asks the banker please give me provide me a utr number so that he can refer it in case of any problem so system will this is this has to be verified after this has been added here right so this is how we do it here same way it has to be verified right with the same menu option hp ordering function shall be v right and at the bottom of the screen some banks have customized they can have it here and one can in go on for the search option also wherein you can get the utr number i hope this all was very clear to you and when see you my website is launched i have uploaded i'll be uploading a lot of uh, videos live videos on finical we can you get access to so friends i hope something of uh, substance has been shared with you please subscribe ask your friends colleagues to share and uh, subscribe to my channel also join my website so that i can make your life more easier and you can achieve success and greater heights in your career and personal life Thank you guys